Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to write numerical expressions from a given phrase. So basically, we're given words or a situation, and we write out the numbers and operations to represent that. Understanding how to write out numerical expressions is a skill needed for problem solving and understanding situations where math is applied. Taking these phrases or a given situation and being able to understand them helps us to apply math to whatever we are trying to solve. Now, recognizing keywords is going to be very important when writing numerical expressions. So let's jump into our examples here and start with number one, where we have the sum of 19 and five. So sum is our keyword. It means the answer to an addition problem. So we are going to add 19 and five. So that's going to be our numerical expression to represent that phrase. So 19 plus five. Let's move on to number two, where we have 82 decreased by 34. So decreased by means that we are going to subtract. So our numerical expression, 82, 82 minus 34. Decreased by is going to be subtraction. On to number three, where we have 21 divided by seven. So here we have division, 21 divided by seven. Now there are different ways to represent division. So that's one way. Another way would be writing it as a fraction. So 21 divided by seven, and we can also use a slash. So 21 divided by seven. So a few different ways there to represent division. Number four, the product of 10 and six. So product, that's the answer to a multiplication problem. So this is going to be multiplication. So 10 times six. So we can write 10 times six. We can also use a filled in circle or dot here, 10 times six. We can use an asterisk, so 10 times six. And then also we can use parentheses, so 10 times six. So different ways to represent multiplication uh, for number four there. And let's move on to number five, where we have 25 less than 46. So when we see less than, we actually switch the order. This is going to be subtraction. We're taking 25 less than 46. So it's going to be 46 minus 25. So when you see that less than, we flip the order there. On to number six, where we have the quotient of 81 and nine. Quotient is our key word, and it means the answer to a division problem. So we have 81 divided by nine for our numerical expression for number six. Number seven, eight increased by three. So increased by, we are going to add three to eight. So we have eight and we are increasing it by three. So increasing something we are adding. Lastly, number eight, we have 20 times 14. So times, that's going to be multiplication. So we have 20 times 14. So there you have it. There are the basics of writing numerical expressions. Use keywords to figure out the operation and then write the expression. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, 
Peace.